Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am so stoked to record episode four. I think we're on episode four of Clear the Cart. If you're like, okay, what is Clear the Cart? It's a series that I started here on my channel back in June where I am attempting to clear my TBR cart. So I started off with 60 books on the cart and I am making such great progress. I am so proud of myself and I'm so grateful for y'all because you guys are telling me how invested <laughs> you are in Clear the Cart and truly that is what's giving me the motivation to keep going, to stick to my monthly TBRs, to keep recording the videos. I'm very grateful for what we have going on right here. So, okay, I'm sitting somewhere different because, because number one, it's raining outside and so I'm trying to be like as close to the light as possible so that you can actually see what's going on here. But also my bookshelves are behind you. They are complete. I recently redid all of my bookshelves and I got a new one so I have more than I did before and I am obsessed, they're stunning, they are beautiful, and I cannot wait to show you. That's gonna be my next video, is a bookshelf reveal and tour. I kind of already revealed it on Instagram, but it's okay, it's okay. I haven't made a video for it. So that'll be my next video that's coming out after this one later on in July. So for this video, we are actually going to be choosing my August TBR using my trusty little TBR jar. So this is my second time using my little TBR jar here, and I am so excited like I have been looking forward to filming this video all week I have a coaching call in about an hour I'm a productivity coach if you didn't know and I was like oh I have time before my last coaching call of the week to film my TBR video and I am just so excited so excited I think the TBR jar makes it so much fun I'm not gonna give you like an in-depth update of how I'm doing for my July TBR but I'll just tell you that I'm, I'm, I'm proud of where we're at okay I'm proud of where we're at of course I will be filming a July wrap-up to let you know which books off of my July TBR, the ones that we pulled last month that I actually read. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see if I can clear this cart by the end of the year and see like how I do on my monthly TBRs that we choose together. So this was one of y'all's ideas to write down the books that I pre-ordered. So in the 60 on the cart, that like the 60 that I started with, I included all the books that I pre-ordered for the year too. So these are books, these three will be coming out within the month of August so they're eligible for me to use when I pull these prompts out so we have business casual by BK Borson comes out July 16th we have the enemy by Sarah Adams I get that in on August 6th I think that one's been out I think it's just like a new cover I think I don't know don't take my word for it. And then the last one is Daydream by Hannah Grace. That one doesn't come out till August 27th, so the end of the month, so I probably won't choose that one, but it does come out in August, so I wanted to include it. So the way that this works, we are gonna choose seven. We're gonna choose seven because I have to read nine books a month from the cart in order to clear the cart by the end of the year. So I like to choose seven just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room to mood read. And plus it keeps the wrap ups interesting because you don't know every single book that I'm gonna talk about. You know what I mean? So we are gonna choose seven prompts together. So let's get our first prompt. Okay, number one, a book with purple on the cover. Okay, I feel like I have quite a few options here. It doesn't say a purple cover, it just says purple on the cover, okay? So I have the flat share, behind the net, things we left behind. I can't read this one because it's the third one in a series. Is this purple or blue? I feel like this one is more blue than purple. You know what I think we're gonna go with? I think we're gonna go with Oh wait, Daydream by Hannah Grace has purple on it, but that's the end of the month, so I don't wanna go with it. I'm gonna do Things We Left Behind by Lucy Scorer, honestly, because I just wanna get this series done. Okay, this is the third book in a series, and I've already read the first two, obviously, if I'm gonna read the third one, and I've heard that I'm probably not gonna like this one, because I've heard that it has a lot of spice, but spice that doesn't necessarily like move the plot along, it's just like spice for the sake of spice which I'm not the biggest fan of. So we shall see how this one goes. So that'll be my first one, a book with a purple cover, Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score. I am very excited to finish the series though, I will say. Okay, so that is our first one. Again, we're doing seven. So number two, 
Okay, number two, a book from a genre you don't normally read. Okay. I feel like the genre that I read the least amount of is mystery thriller because I get spooked very easily. And uh, so I think I'm going to go with a mystery thriller, which I only have three on the cart and they're all right here. All in Bad Blood, which I can't read this one because it comes after this one in the series and then Flicker in the Dark. So uh, maybe, I think I'm gonna go with All In which is book three in the natural series. Book one spooked me a lot. Book two, I really enjoyed, but it didn't scare me as much. And so I've just heard that these books get progressively better as the series goes on. So I think we're gonna do this one. Plus I feel like this one is chunky. Like this is a brick of a book. And I feel like these I read so quickly because they're so fast paced and they're YA. So I feel like this chunky book, this kind of balances it out. You know what I mean? Strategy. It's strategy. Number three, going in for number three. It's really hard to pull out only one, honestly. Okay. A book with the title in cursive. Okay. Do I have any? <laughs> uh, oh, out of the lens. <gasps> and behind the net. Okay, okay, okay. I think those are my, oh, and then these two. Redeeming six and taming seven. I think those are all of our options. Yeah, because none of these are in cursive. Okay, I think that I wanna do out on a limb. This is one of my like really anticipated reads for the year. I have just heard nothing but good things about this. And I'm truly so excited. Plus I'm 99% sure it's on Kindle Unlimited and I prefer reading on my Kindle because mom life, it's easier to read with one hand. So I'm gonna go with Out on a Limb because I am so excited about it and I can read on Kindle. So that's number three. Go for number four. Also Buck is in here and he just started snoring. So I feel like that's a common theme. Number four, a book from an author you love. Okay, okay. I actually, this is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go with a novel a love story by Ashley Poston. It is Poston. One of you guys so graciously filled me in because I never knew if her name was Poston or Poston. And one of you guys looked it up and you're like, let me fill you in, it's Poston. So Ashley Poston, this is her new one that just came out, a novel love story. And the cool thing is my book club, that's what she read book club, they're voting right now, like the vote closes tomorrow. And this is a book right now that's in the lead. So not only will this knock a book off of my TBR cart, but it's also the book that is for my book club. So I feel like this is a good choice, but I've heard mixed reviews about this one. I've heard some people really, really love it. And then other people were really let down by it. So I'm a little bit nervous. I do love the cover and the premise of it sounds so good to me. So from what I've heard other people talk about, the main character in this book, I don't even know her name, Elsie, she gets like swept into her favorite romance series, Town. I've only read one other book by her, The Seven Year Slip, and it was one of my top reads of 2023. So I am very excited to give this one a go, and I really hope that it ends up winning for the August book for my book club, because that would be ideal, you know what I mean? So have this one, that is number four, and then moving on to number five. A sports romance. Okay, I don't think I have very many of these. I think this might be the only one actually. Oh no, I think this is one too. I think the Graham Effect is a sports romance and then Behind the Net definitely is. And I think Behind the Net is on Kindle Unlimited too, so I'd be able to read at least two books this month on my Kindle. So I think I'm just gonna go for this one. I think I'm gonna do it. Behind the Net by Stephanie Archer. I've never read anything by this author. So we're gonna go for it. I've heard really good things. I don't think I've heard anything negative about this book, but I also have only heard it talked about a few times. So I'm excited to give it a go and see. Um, I think it's hockey romance. Like that's a hockey net, right? I'm not a sports girly. <laughs> okay, that is five. So we have two more. Ask Instagram to choose between two books. Okay, so I'm gonna choose two books and pop them up on my Instagram stories. Yeah, we'll do it now because then by the time I'm done with the next one, I'm just gonna see. So the poll's not gonna be up that long, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it anyway. I think I'm gonna do the wishing game because I really wanted to read this one. 
And then, let's see. I think I'm gonna do The Women by Chris and Hannah. So I think these are the two that I'm gonna put up on Instagram stories. So The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer and The Women by Chris and Hannah. I've heard incredible things about both of these. I've never read anything by Meg Schaefer. I think that's how you say her last name. But I've read a lot by Chris and Hannah and I have never read a Chris and Hannah book that doesn't make me cry. So I, I, I'm 99% sure this one's gonna make me cry. So let me really quickly post a little Instagram story. Okay, so here is the story and I'm gonna post it. So it's 2.02 when I'm posting it. Hopefully it's up for at least five minutes. I don't know. Okay, so I'll report back on that in just a second and we will choose our seventh and final prompt in the meantime. I don't even know if it's gonna be up for five minutes, y'all, but it's okay. Okay, a book published in 2024. Do I, oh, I think this one for sure. And I think that might be the only one. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. When was this one? I don't know. 2023, no. No, 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 no. I think this one was, but it comes after this one, so I can't read it yet. I think this one is my only option on the cart. And this one just came out. It's the second book in a series, Love Unwritten by Lauren Asher. Honestly, I've been really excited to read this. I've just been putting it off because She's thick. But the other one that I have on my shelf, Love Redesigned, the first book in the series, it's thick as well. And I read it on Kindle. There's another one I can read on Kindle. Amazing, we love it, amazing. Okay, done. And I flew through that one. Number one, I feel like I just read faster on Kindle because I don't know, I just do. And number two, Lauren Asher's, her books, that was my first Lauren Asher book that I read, Love Redesigned. The writing to me was so bingeable. Like I just was, wanting to be reading all the time like it was a book that i was thinking about the characters even when i wasn't reading i was like what are they up to what are they doing i want to go and see like what's going on so i am very excited to read this one like i said i've just been putting it off because she's thick but i am looking forward to reading this we have a lot of romance this month i hope that does not put me into a reading slump so let's do a little recap of the books that i pulled because that's seven right one two three four five six and then once the poll goes up or once i check the poll that'll be seven and i have to read nine books a month but i like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room because i am a mood reader and so i just like to give myself some options you know what i mean so this way i'll be able to head over to the cart and choose just anything that i'm in the mood for for at least two of the books probably a fantasy because like I said, this is a lot of romance. I think it's all romance actually, is it? Oh no, we have one like mystery thriller. Okay, so let's quickly recap the books that I chose and then after we recap them, I will tell you the winner from the Instagram poll. Honestly, I'm stalling to try to give the poll a little bit of time to like marinate, okay? So the first one that we picked was Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score. This is a book with purple on the cover and it is the third one in the Knock Em Out series. And so I'm really excited to complete the series. Also a little scared because I've heard this one is real spicy. So we have that one. We have All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is book three in a series. Wow, I'm honestly really excited that I'm gonna be making some dents in some series this month. Love that for me and love that that for my TV hot cart. So uh, this one, the prompt was a book that is like outside of my normal genre, which mystery thriller definitely is outside of my preferred genre. So we have that one. Number three is out on a limb. And this one was, uh, I think cursive, right? Like the title is in cursive. Oh, how cute. How cute is that? That makes me even more excited to read this. I've never read anything by this author either, Hannah Bonham Young. Yeah, it was a book with the title in cursive. And honestly, this is one of my anticipated reads for this year, so I'm really excited. Plus, it's a Kindle read. We love that. Next up, we have a novel love story by Ashley Poston, and this one was a book from an author you love. Now, yes, I've only read one other book by her, but I absolutely loved it. It was one of my top, probably top three books of 2023. So I'm counting it because I don't really have a lot 
lot of other ones on here <laughs> from authors that I love, to be honest, which maybe that says something about my book buying habits, but it's okay. So, and plus this one, again, is the book that my book club is reading for the month of August. It's looking like, I think it's gonna win. I hope it wins. So, A Novel Love Story by Ashley Poston. Then we have Behind the Net. This one was, the prompt was a sports romance by Stephanie Archer. Never read anything by this author. And this is another one that's on Kindle. And also, Things We Left Behind is on Kindle. So we have at least four books that I get to read on Kindle because the last one is Love Unwritten by Lauren Asher, which is also on Kindle. And this is, the prompt was a book that came out in 2024. So those are the books that I chose, but now let me pull up Instagram so that we can see. Okay, the polls went up for five minutes on the dot. It's 207. Okay, I stalled as much as I could. <laughs> and okay, it's, it's close. Dang it, I wish that I had more time to stall, but I have to go do my coaching call. So the women is at 57%. So we're gonna go with the women by Chris and Hannah. A lot of the girls in my book club have already read this and they said that it is absolutely incredible. So I know it's gonna be a good read. So I'm excited. I just wish the poll could have, you know, been on my stories for more than five minutes, but you know, it is what it is. We're just gonna work with what we've got. So this one was ask Instagram to choose between two books. Hopefully this one stays in the lead or else I'm gonna feel like I cheated, but also like we gotta get on with the day, you know? So uh, here is a little look at my TBR for the month of August. Lots of romance. So I feel like my two mood reads are gonna be fantasy. Just so I don't put myself in a reading slump because of reading like romance after romance after romance. I will say, I think the women and all in will break things up a little bit. So grateful for those being in here. But my next video will be my bookshelf tour. You guys, I cannot wait to show you. It is my dream home library. The shelves are stunning and I'm just so excited to show you. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my bookshelf tour. And then after that, we have Clear the Cart episode five coming out, which will be my July wrap up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for cheering me on in the Clear the Cart series. Truly, your encouragement is motivating me to keep going. So I appreciate you. I love you and I hope you have the best day ever.